Wrecked is a game that may be designed specifically to please me. It's a game where you drive cars around an arena doing stunts to earn points like it's a Tony Hawk's game, with a huge array of quirky cars that you steadily unlock, upgrade and customise. I am 100% into every part of that. So the basic gist of the game is that you drive around jumping off ramps and spinning your car in various ways to earn points. You have a certain amount of time between jumps to do something else to maintain a combo, but lots of things like boosting or drifting can keep the combo going. You can also grind, but it's kind of fiddly to actually land on the grindable rails, so you probably won't do it very much. The points for your runs go into a big pot that unlocks new cars, and by completing challenges you get a currency that you can spend on upgrading those cars and buying new levels. So it's rare that a run isn't going to be at least helping you unlock something somewhere. The main mode is just about getting the best score in an allotted time, but there are also practice and local multiplayer modes. So let's go over the good. Well. Wrecked is just fun. Racking up a huge score is satisfying as hell, and the different challenges give bigger bonuses if you do multiple in the same run, so it encourages you to play each run slightly differently, which helps keep things varied, even if the pool of challenges isn't particularly massive. Also, as your multiplier grows, it changes the colour palette of the whole level, which just looks really nice. It also gives you a reason to want to get bigger multipliers beyond just points, because then you can see the different palettes that you haven't seen yet. It can take a little bit of getting used to managing the flips and spins since it's really sensitive. But you get the hang of it relatively quickly and you can cancel out of your spin entirely by hitting A on your controller if you're getting a bit overwhelmed. There are also loop-de-loops and loop-de-loops are, as far as I'm concerned, something that improves any game they're in. As mentioned before, there's a ridiculous amount of cars to unlock and they all have their own stats. Some are quicker, some spin faster, some have more boost, etc. Granted, some like the Street Sweeper are just kind of bad, but you can upgrade it and put a sweet spoiler on it and make it marginally less bad, so that's a thing. There's also special cars that you unlock by doing specific challenges, and as someone who was super into Formula 1 as a kid, I very much appreciate that this car seems to be based on Ayrton Senna's old McLaren and has the Monaco track layout on the bottom. Also, unlocking it meant that I could put F1 tyres on my beloved Street Sweeper. Additionally, and I'm very aware that this is an incredibly surface level thing, but I really love how it shows you all the cars that you've unlocked. This combined with the really chunky aesthetic they use on the cars, it makes me think of Micro Machines, and I'm a big fan of Micro Machines whether they be in video game or real life form. Basically, I want more things to be like Micro Machines, and I'm not particularly fussy how they do that. However, I do have a few complaints about the game. If you crash, you lose your combo, which is fine, it makes sense, but it's incredibly sensitive. Just lightly clipping the roof or sides of your car will do it, so it can be very frustrating when you lose a big combo because you just lightly tapped the ceiling. Oh, also, the game totally doesn't tell you in the tutorial that you can do barrel rolls with your bumper buttons because, yeah, that's the thing you can do in the game and it just doesn't really tell you about. The levels themselves don't feel particularly varied since the colour palette is governed by your multiplier, so there's a limit on how distinct each one can feel. There's also only four of them, which compounds the lack of variety. Kind of wish there was more easily accessible grind rails too, since right now it's a mechanic that you can mostly ignore. Which is a shame, because when you do pull it off, it's kind of cool. So, full disclosure, we were sent the code for Wrecked by the publisher, so we didn't have to pay for it, but at just under a fiver, I do think that even with the complaints I have, that it's well worth the cash if this kind of thing looks interesting to you. I don't know if they plan to add more to it over time, or tweak some of the more fiddly mechanics, but as is, I've had a lot of fun with it, especially once I got the hang of it. Now, if only it had a late 90s, early 2000s pop-punk soundtrack like in the Tony Hawk games I used to play, it would be perfect. Hey, thank you for watching. This kind of short review format is new for me, so I hope you got something out of it. Basically, I wanted to do more with this channel, and my original plans for that all required it being way more not 2020 to achieve, so I thought it might be fun to do the occasional little video like this for neat games that you might not have played. Let me know if you enjoyed this, and yeah, I'll see you next time.